Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deandra Devon. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're already a part of the click, then welcome back. So y'all, I have this new product on my head called the Tea Owl. And basically it's a t-shirt towel. So I just washed my hair and I'm using this to soak up some of that water. And so far y'all, I am loving this. So I always use a t-shirt when I dry my hair after I wash it anyway, but I usually just use a normal cotton t-shirt, but this one is actually a lot better. It's not an actual t-shirt, but it's like t-shirt material, but it's actually softer than a t-shirt, so it's really nice. So on this little card that came with the tea owl, it says organic cotton reduces breakage frizz and it leaves hair softer than bath towels and microfiber. So all you have to do is wring out your hair manually in the shower and then you use your tea owl to dry for healthier, happier hair. So that's what I'm using right now guys. And I do have a discount code if you want to try this out. It's just DeAndre Levon on their website. So I'm about to do a little wash and go and I'm going to just do a little wash and go and chat for y'all. But before I start, let me just show y'all like how huge this thing is. Like it's way bigger than most of my t-shirts. And so that is another thing that just makes it that much more amazing. You can twist it up and tie it however you need to for your hair. But that's what I was saying. So we're going to do a wash and go and chat. And I'm gonna just talk about my wedding, my engagement slash wedding. I really haven't come and talked to you guys since I got engaged. If you missed my vlog, where Zach proposed to me, then make sure you check out that video after this one. So we went to Destin. <laughs> for our two year anniversary. And y'all, I had no idea that he was planning on proposing. I had a feeling that it was coming. Um, we had kind of been talking about it a little bit, but I was completely surprised by the actual day. But of course, I was so, so happy. I absolutely love him and He's just the best. So I'm, of course, super excited to marry him. So y'all, I'm not wearing my ring right now. I probably wouldn't be wearing my ring anyway while I'm doing my hair. But <laughs> my ring was actually a little bit too big. And it's not because he didn't get it sized. Like we literally went and got my finger sized like a while, months before he even proposed. And the store that we went to, told me that my finger was a five. We did the little thing where you try on the different rings and it said my finger was a five, but then he went to a different store to actually buy the ring and the five was like a little bit too big. And the way that my ring is made, it has like the stone at the top and that thing is heavy y'all. <laughs> it's heavy and my ring was just twisting and I did not like that. So we got it sized down a little bit to a 4.5. And we did that literally the day after he proposed. We actually took it to a store in Destin and she told me I was probably a 4.5. So we tried it on and I was a 4.5. Pause real quick. I'm just gonna show you guys what products I'm about to use for this wash and go. So I'm gonna use my Uncle Funky's Daughter products. This is the Super Curl Miracle Moisture Cream. It's just a really, really creamy moisturizer. And then, of course, I'm gonna go in with my Curly Magic Curl Simulator Gel. But back to what I was saying about the ring. <laughs> so they told us that it would be about two weeks. And two weeks will actually be this upcoming Tuesday. And the people called me from the store yesterday and told me that, you know, the ring was finished and they were going to ship it out to me on Monday. So y'all, hopefully it'll be here by like Tuesday because I miss my ring. I only got to wear it for like a few hours. 
it sucked. And my finger has just been feeling super naked for like a week and a half because Zach actually got me a promise ring like a few months into us dating. And so I would always wear that promise ring on my ring finger. But now I'm not wearing that <laughs> since I got engaged. And I'm also not wearing the engagement ring because it's getting sized. So it's just sad over here. Real, real sad, y'all. But anyways, the next YouTube video, y'all should be able to see my beautiful ring. It's so pretty. I told him that I wanted rose gold and the rest was up to him. And he did amazing, like, I'm so in love with that ring. Can't wait for them to finally send it back to me <laughs> so I can actually enjoy it. All right, so next we have also been looking at venues. So the thing with Zach and I's wedding is we are pretty sure that it's gonna be a couple hundred people that probably are gonna want to come maybe more <laughs> we're not entirely sure my dad is actually a pastor so we are going to invite our entire church so that's um quite a few people right there in itself and then on top of that zach and i both have pretty large families on both sides so when you add all that up together plus friends and all that you're looking at a couple hundred plus people <laughs> so that kind of limits us a bit on venues around my area i don't really live in a huge city I don't live in a tiny city, but it's not like Atlanta or something like that. Like it's not that size of a city. So trying to find a venue that can accommodate at least a couple hundred people comfortably and a venue that, you know, is really pretty because I definitely want a nice, pretty venue. Trying to find all that is a bit of a struggle <laughs> because we don't want our guests to have to go like way far out to get to our wedding. So we've been trying to find somewhere that's a little bit more local. And y'all, I literally found this place it was so pretty like I loved it so much and it was about 40 minutes away from where I live but I loved the way it looked on the pictures like it had the lights and it was just a beautiful beautiful place but once we got there we just realized that it wasn't probably gonna work for my wedding um, there really was nowhere for like the girls to get dressed i'm gonna have like 10 bridesmaids and i just couldn't really figure out where they would get dressed or where i would get dressed i didn't know where zach and his groomsmen would be like it just logistically it just wasn't really going to work out but i was kind of sad because i loves the way that like the decorations looks they had like all these um lights inside it was a it's, it was basically a big warehouse but it had all these lights that came with the warehouse like you didn't have to pay for the decorations or anything and it just had that starry look to it which was just so so cute to me but it just didn't work out <laughs> they didn't really have the parking that we would need to be honest, if we were having a smaller wedding, that place probably would be like perfect. Like it would have worked fine. But the size of our wedding, it wasn't gonna happen. So we had to start brainstorming and looking at other places. 
and I feel like now we've pretty much found our perfect place. I'm not gonna say it on here yet because it's not final final, but y'all, we went and looked at it yesterday and it was just so beautiful. I loved it. It had the beautiful chandeliers, just gorgeous when you walk in. And it was huge, just like a big ballroom. So it was definitely big enough to hold everybody that I would want at the wedding. It had like beautiful outdoor scenery. It was just gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> and Zach came with us and my parents and we all really, really liked the venue. So I think that's what we're going to go with. If nothing goes too crazy and the venue said that they had some openings in like september and october so we're gonna try to get one of those september dates so that we can be married this year y'all it is so crazy how like how many times we've been asked about our dates like you have a date yet what date are we thinking like people were literally asking us that the day that we announced um <laughs> they were already asking like have y'all picked a date and we were just like uh, no <laughs> we just got engaged <laughs> and i was not even trying to like have a date in mind because i already knew that the venue was gonna be the rate limiting factor so i knew that we were gonna have to probably find the venue first and then set a date based on the availability of the venue. Because y'all, these like big venues, they be booked, booked and busy, okay? Like they be booked every weekend. And so they kind of tell you what availability they have and then you pick your date from that. So I could have been like, yeah, I want my wedding this summer. But wh where was I going to have that? <laughs> like, girl, hmm? what? where are you going to have it at? Your backyard? Like, where is it going to be? Because none of these places around here have anything available in June or July. Like, it's not, it's not happening. And so we would have to decide, like, okay, what's more important? The date or the fact that we want to get married this year and for us we just you know we wanted to get married this year like yeah we could push it back that would be fine too but we're not gonna push it back just because like we would only push it back if we just couldn't get married this year like obviously i don't want to be trying to have a wedding when it's cold outside so that's why like september it's like very nice temperature here. I live down in the south, so in September it's actually very, very nice weather. Not very hot, not cold, just like perfect. But I'm not about to have no November, December type of wedding. So if for whatever reason, those were the only dates available everywhere, then we would just push it back to next year. But luckily, so far, that is not the case. We are having some good luck with the venues. In this particular venue that I'm talking about, like I said, they have openings in September. So I think that's what we're going to go with. And the other thing that we are also planning, besides just the wedding, is we are having an engagement party. <laughs> And we're mainly having an engagement party because people kept asking us, are y'all having an engagement party? <laughs> and I just think people are just super excited and they want to, you know, celebrate with us, which is so sweet. And so, yeah, we're gonna have an engagement party. Now for that, we've already picked the venue and we've already picked the date. It's gonna be the end of the month, but I just have to kind of, get a few decorations the person that owns the venue actually like they decorate themselves so they are gonna do most of our decorations for us but there's like 
a few little cute things that I saw on Amazon, like some cute we're engaged banners and those sorts of things that I also want incorporated at the engagement party. So I have to go online and order those. That's on the to-do list. <laughs> and I also am planning for our engagement photo shoots. I'm going to get my cousin and his girlfriend, shout out to Celestial Lens. <laughs> I'm gonna get them to do our engagement photo shoot. So I also have to plan for that a little bit, I have to figure out the venue, wherever we're gonna take pictures, and what I want to wear. I think I want it to be like formal, like I know I've seen like some really cute like more casual engagement shoots but I kind of like the formal look but I'm not wearing white <laughs> I know a lot of people do that they do the whole wear white thing for the engagement photo shoots but I'm not trying to do that I'm just gonna pick a different color completely different from white because I don't know, I just feel like white should be saved for my actual wedding. I want that to be the first white dress that Zach really sees me in. And also, sometimes when you post those engagement photo shoots in like a white dress, it kind of confuses people. Like, they be like, okay, did they already get married? Like, what's going on? So, <laughs> I'm not trying to do that. Of course, in my wedding dress and in his wedding tux like we're gonna have amazing pictures done for that so we'll have plenty of pictures with my white dress on but for this engagement shoot no white so yeah I also have to go and order my outfit for that and Zach is gonna have to pick out his outfit for that as well so y'all, yeah, <laughs> I kind of have a lot going on, but I'm really, really excited. This is like the most exciting time like ever. <laughs> I've never planned a wedding, obviously. So it's a little bit stressful, but I have my mom, I have Zach's parents, I have my parents, I have Zach, like, you know, we have support we have people helping us we're not just like doing it all on our own and i'm also using an app called wedding wire i do not have a discount code or anything for them but <laughs> i'm just gonna give them a little shout out anyway because they have been so so helpful like the venues that i found i literally found through wedding wire they show you a bunch of venues. They show you a lot of pictures from the venues, reviews about venues. They also have like different vendors on there, like caterers, photographers, whatever you need. It's just such a great app for planning your wedding. And I'm a very organized person. So having everything like in one centralized app is just everything for me. <laughs> I'm so, so happy that I found this app. And yeah, and y'all, it even has like a to-do list. So it has like a to-do list for everything that you could ever think of that you need to do for your wedding. Like it even has plan your engagement party as one of the to-do lists. Like, I, it's just great. I love it. So I definitely would recommend if you are planning a wedding yourself, even if you have a wedding planner, I still think that you need to have something where you can either write down or use an app to make sure that you've done everything. Because if you're planning like a big wedding, there's a lot of moving parts and there's a lot of things that you might forget about. And that is what your app is for. It's kind of like having like a personal assistant right there in your hand as you're trying to plan your wedding or any type of event really so yeah 
and love wedding wire. So the next step for the actual wedding, um, after we secure this location, the venue, then we will of course secure the date. And that is when I'll be able to start building our wedding website that's going to have all the information on it. I'm going to have like pictures of the bridesmaids and the groom. It's going to be the groomsmen, the groom and the groomsmen. <laughs> it's going to be super, super cute. And I'm going to start sending out my little... I don't know really what it's called but basically like the invitations to my bridesmaids just letting them know that I want them to be bridesmaids I think that's super cute when people do that so I'm going to do that so if you are somebody close to me and you're watching this video be on the lookout girl because it's coming <laughs> it's coming girl it's coming so yeah and then once we do all that the girls will be able to start looking at their dresses and picking out what dresses they would like. I have a color in mind for what I want them to wear, but I don't want to share that yet. It's not 100% finalized, y'all, but if you know me, you know what my favorite color is. You probably already know. You probably already know what the color is going to be, but <laughs> I'm not going to share it with everybody quite yet. But there will be more update videos to come. I'm going to document the process for you guys because I just really am so appreciative of this YouTube community. And it really does feel like I know y'all and y'all know me. And so, I shared Zach and I's journey, our boyfriend and girlfriend journey. I have several videos of us, several vlogs of us. And so, of course, I'm going to also share the actual wedding and the wedding process with y'all. Because I love y'all. Like, I love y'all. <laughs> this is the last section, guys. I love wash and goes because they are so fast and easy. Okay. You go ahead and to fill me your orange. Thanks, honey. No problem. Put your supplement right there. You're on camera. Totally. <laughs> are you recording right now? Yeah. Look who just came. <clears throat> The person I've been talking about. <laughs> Hello, people. How you? Leaving <laughs> with this deep voice. <laughs> my baby. I can't touch you because I have stuff in my hands. I came in at the wrong time. Wrong you came time. in at the perfect time. time. Perfect time. The life of the, wait, the fiance of a YouTuber. I didn't ask for this. You know, I it, just, it come with love. Some stuff, you understand? Some stuff just come with okay, love. Okay, this is not your you just, video. You just gotta okay. go with it. You know what I'm saying? For the sake of love, people, you gotta. You don't even have to do anything. I love you. Okay, I love you finish too. Finish the video now. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> love you, baby. Hey, Jewel. All right, y'all. Well, thank y'all so much for watching. I just finished the wash and go, and. I think it's gonna come out super super cute if you haven't already done so then make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also join the click by hitting that subscribe button i would love for you to be a part of this family thank y'all so much for watching as always and i will see y'all next week in my next video bye